Praise God for another beautiful day, for another day of life and good health. Good to see all my brothers and sisters in Christ, all my followers. It's great to see you all again. Praise God. And to all the new people that are tuning in, I'm an evangelist, Tino Bernal, Power of Faith Ministries. And today, I'm going to, sermon's going to be about, through Jesus, we have new life. See, we have a new life because of Jesus, but it's up to us to want it. Let's bow down our heads and go into prayer before I start. Father God, thank you for your grace, your mercy, your love toward us. Thank you for your son, Jesus Christ, who was crucified on the cross so he could be forgiven of our sins. His precious blood was sinless, spotless. Thank you, Lord, for the daily bread that you give us, the shelter, the food, the companionship that we have for our fellow men. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, guys, through Jesus, we have new life. If you open up your Bibles to the book of John, 1 John Chapter 5, verse 11 and 12. It says, And this is the testimony that God has given us eternal life. And this life is in his Son. He who has the Son has life. He who does not have the Son of God does not have life. That's very powerful. So basic understanding. God has given us eternal life. And this life is in his son, Jesus Christ. He who has the son has life. And he who does not have the son of God does not have life. You see, um, in the book of Ephesians, chapter 2, verse 4 and 5, it also says, But God, who is rich in mercy, even when we were dead in trespasses, made us alive together with Christ. You see, Jesus... Is the way to have new life. You see in the book of Galatians chapter 220 it says I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live but Christ lives in me and the life which I now live in the flesh I live by faith in the Son of God, who loves me and gave himself for me. That's very, very powerful, very interesting. I mean, you see it says, I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loves me and gave himself for me. You see, God provided the Son of, you know, Jesus Christ, the Son, to die on the cross for his sins. You see, in the Old Testament, during the days of Moses and Abraham, Isaac and David, Solomon, and I could go on and on. You see, to have forgiveness of sins, you have to kill a lamb. The blood. See, there has to be blood. But you see, we don't go around killing lambs and goats and stuff like that for forgiveness of sins no more. Because Jesus Christ was the Lamb of God. 
he loves you so much that he opened up his arms. That's how much he loves you. But by his blood, your sins are forgiven. But you have to accept Jesus Christ as your personal Savior and believe in your heart that he died for you. You see, he shed his blood so you could be set free and your sins to be forgiven. You see, in the book of Romans chapter 8 and 2, it says, For the law of the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made me free from the law of sin and death. In 2 Corinthians, Corinthians chapter 5, 17, it says, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. You see, the old things have passed away. You're going to leave your drinking, your smoking, your drugs, your messing around, stealing, cheating. You're leaving all that behind. They have passed away. Now all new things have become new. Now you're not going to drink. You're not going to smoke. You're not going to do drugs. You're not going to cheat. You're not going to steal. You got a new life in Christ. And... In the book of Peter, 1 Peter chapter 1, 23, it says, Having been born again, not of corruptible seed, but incorruptible through the word of God, which lives and abides forever. And also in the book of Peter, 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 2, it says, As newborn babies, Desire desires the pure milk of the word that you may grow thereby. You see, through Jesus we have new life. And that all you gotta do is believe that Jesus Christ died on the cross for you, accept him as your personal savior. So like that your name will be written in the book of life. See, life goes too quick. We need to get our act together and do righteous things. Attend church, read your Bible, pray fast. Like that, you become stronger. And you have more contact with God more directly. You can hear His voice when He speaks to you. See, a lot of people don't realize God speaks to you, but they're so busy in their own little world, they don't listen. You need to stop and hear him when he speaks to you. So guys, um, I have a song that I want to sing to you guys. It's a beautiful song. It's an old song. We shall gather at the river. We shall gather at the river. That's a beautiful song. It brings me a lot of memories. When I was attending church with my parents and... We sang this song. Shall we gather at the river where bright angels' feet have trod? With it, crystal tide forever. Flowing by the throne of God. Yes, we'll gather at the river. The beautiful, the beautiful river. Gather with the saints at the river. That flows by the throne of God. On the margin of the river. Washing up a silver spray, we will walk and worship ever all the happy golden day. Yes, we'll gather at the river, 
the beautiful, the beautiful river. Gather with the saints at the river that flows by the throne of God. Yeah, we reach the shiny river, lay with every burden down. Grace our spirits will deliver and provide a robe and crown. Yes, we'll gather at the river, the beautiful, the beautiful river. Gather with the saints at the river that flows by the throne of God. Soon we reach the shining river, soon our fingers will cease. Soon our happy hearts will shiver with the melody of peace. Yes, we'll gather at the river, the beautiful, the beautiful river. Gather with the saints at the river that flows by the throne of God. Praise God, what a beautiful song. We shall gather at the river. Well, you guys, I also want to speak about the, the end times is coming very quickly. I mean, they're already talking about the one world religion headquarters is being built right now. And it'll be completed in this coming new year, 2022. The wheels are starting to spin very quickly now. The wheel is really spinning. The One World Religion Headquarters is being built right now. And pretty soon, we're going to have a One World Government. You guys don't realize how, how near we're getting at the door. The door is already open. The door is open. In the end time is really at our doorsteps. Guys are asleep. They don't realize what's going on. They're not paying attention. They're not hearing. They're in their own little world. You guys are in trouble. The rapture is coming very quickly. Because the saints of God won't be here. But it's getting really, really bad. So we need to change our lives, put our trust in God, and ask Him to forgive us for our sins and accept Jesus Christ as our personal Savior. I mean, this is really serious. It's really, really, the wheels are really spinning quicker and quicker and quicker. Well, guys, I just want to let you know, I really appreciate you tuning in to my sermons, my messages, prophecies. I'll be speaking more about the one world government and one world religion that's really at their doorsteps already. One of these days, believe it or not, the government's going to take everything away from everybody. Okay, guys, uh, don't forget also, um, really appreciate you picking a partner in my ministry. Uh, I'm accepting donations right now. Also, I need to help people. I've been getting some phone calls from people from overseas. And they're asking me, you know, they need money for the Bibles and materials for the kids for Sunday school class. And I told them I would help them, but I need people to help me out. I can't do it by myself. I greatly appreciate it. If you go to the GoFundMe link in Facebook and help me with anything. Really appreciate it. Also, God will be very happy that you're trying to do your part also in helping people. Because it takes money also to to get things rolling. 
I mean, Bibles ain't free, materials ain't free, everything costs. So I greatly appreciate you helping me out. And also become a partner in my ministry. Really appreciate that. Also, if you have any prayer needs, you could uh, send me a comment or WhatsApp or call me. I greatly appreciate it. I'm here all the time for you guys. I pray for everybody every day. I put all your requests in this little box and I put my hand over them and I pray for them. And I fast for you guys. And I pray every day and I read the Bible. We got to have that connection with God. We need to be spiritually strong with the armor of God. Because this devil right now, he's very, very, very bad. I'm trying to tear up everything. So guys, I love you guys. Don't forget, Evangelist Kino Bernal, Power of Faith Ministry. I'm here for you. You have any questions just let me know about anything and like i said prayer requests prayers for healing just give me a call send me a letter uh p.o box 29151 san antonio texas 78229 i greatly appreciate it and until next time god bless you and have a beautiful day